welcome to the organic chemistry today under the name the halo alkane chapter we have a, a another small subtopic called chloroform that we will take today the chloroform is nothing but a, a carbon containing the three chlorine atoms attached to one hydrogen so it is uh, the formula is CHCl3 it is a small molecule however it comes under the halo alkanes but uh, because of the two reasons uh, one is one carbon compound having three chlorines uh, it has some special properties uh, when compared with the the halo alkanes you cannot have a clubbed up properties you cannot read uh, with the halo alkanes it has some special preparations and the properties let us see how this chloroform is prepared preparation methods there are two methods which are common to the the halo alkanes that is starting from the methane you chlorinate it methane chlorination takes place in the presence of either uv light or 250 degrees centigrade the reaction we have observed it is a, a free radical substitution that one chlorine dot removes the hydrogen dot and forms HCl and another Cl dot attacks and CH3 dot giving the methyl chloride right. But the methyl chloride is not the final answer it gives the further chlorination CH2 Cl2 it gives further chlorination CHCl3 it gives further chlorination CCl4. So therefore four compounds will be formed uh, when you are chlorinating methane if it is restricted that the excess of methane small quantity of chlorine you may have a preparation major quantity as a methyl chloride similarly excess of chlorine small quantity of methane the product may be CCl4 but in between compound chloroform preparation has always uh, uh, some problem but you get a, a mixture of this compound mixture can be easily separable they are not homologous series uh, they have a, a small the difference in the boiling points uh, around 30 degrees difference is there in between every two compounds so therefore one can easily go for the ordinary distillation itself to separate them similar the way you can also take the the club the that is ccl4 that is carbon tetrachloride uh, uh, carbon tetrachloride and you can prepare uh, this uh, mixture by reduction of these compounds isn't it ccl4 can be reduced with the the, um, the nascent hydrogens obtained from the tin and hcl or some other the metals and alcohols and so on you can generate a nascent hydrogen which cut the the hydrogens and you will get the the um, trichloromethane, dichloromethane, monochloromethane, even a small quantity of methane also can be formed uh, when you are reducing. But all these uh, compounds can be readily can be separable so therefore this is not at all a problem. But uh, it so happened that the halogenation of methane nor this uh, the reduction of CCL4 are not the commercial or the common methods for the, the chloroform. We have one special methods of the, the preparation for this uh, the chloroform. <coughs> the methods have got some link to the, the other compounds properties also. So therefore let us concentration um, concentrate on the issue how the chloroform is prepared. This preparation starts from the ethyl alcohol. The preparation of chloroform from ethyl alcohol is an important question and several questions are coming on this particular the compound. The <coughs> ethyl alcohol is treated that is a common alcohol is treated with the calcium oxychloride. This is nothing but a bleaching powder. Bleaching powder used in the cleaning of the water and the wire washing the cloths and so on in presence of water. The two substances calcium oxychloride and the chlorine that is water when they react the calcium hydroxide is produced and the chlorine gas is produced actually that is oxidizing the ethanol and subsequently halogenating and cutting and finally what comes is a CHCl3 this is the compound formed. However, this has got the some internal steps are there. In the first step, uh, the oxidation of alcohol. The step one is a uh, oxidation. 
so using the same reagent that is uh, calcium oxychloride and water the ethyl alcohol is oxidation before that we can take a hydrolysis of bleaching powder also because bleaching powder as such it is not reacting first they generate a chlorine <coughs> hydrolysis of a bleaching powder so this bleaching powder that is a calcium oxychloride reacts with water and gives the calcium hydroxide and liberate the chlorine so we are interested in this base and the halogen later we will see instead of this base uh, can this work can be done with other base yes instead of calcium hydroxide you too can sodium hydroxide and the potassium hydroxide also instead of chlorine you can take bromine iodine also the only thing is when you use chlorine the final product will be chloroform if you use bromine you will get bromoform used iodoform will be formed we have a common reaction later we'll see in the second step is a oxidation oxidation of water oxidation of uh, ethanol oil ethanol means alcohol so this alcohol is oxidized uh, ethyl alcohol has a, a function of hydroxy group uh, and the, the hydrogen so this hydrogen and this hydrogen will be removed uh, the, as a h2 and this uh, is uh, treating with the chlorine and forming into the two moles of uh, hcl so the chlorine is acting as a oxidizing agent from the one hydrogen from the hydroxy one hydrogen from the carbon is removed here comes a double between oxygen so therefore the in between what compound is formed means a uh, ethanol is formed it a a l stands for the aldehyde function so ethanol is oxidized to ethanol this is an uh, oxidation step in the third step a uh, halogenation of uh, ethanol or chlorination of a uh, halogen or instead if you take chlorine chlorination this can be called as chlorination so chlorination of water ethanol al so the acetaldehyde commonly known as acetaldehyde is going to react with this uh, chlorine once again what is happening is the hydrogens which are attached to this uh, unsaturated carbon shows uh, hyperconjugation that means a sort of resonance they are detached all, all these hydrogens readily can be repelled and get uh, all this hydrogens will become into the chlorines so this is nothing but an acetaldehyde with a uh, three chlorines so you can call it as a 2 2 2 trichloroethanol 2 2 2 trichloroethanol as commonly chloral what is the iupac name it is trichloroethanol aldehyde but somebody is instead of all that chloral so it is the common name so plus all these hydrogens will react with the chlorine and you will get the 3 hcl so therefore here three moles six chlorines are required three will enter in the place of hydrogens with this hydrogens three chlorines are going so total six three molecules of chlorine is consumed once again this is a sort of oxidation the hydrogen is electronegative element entering is a oxidation however especially if somebody asks it is a halogenation you can say methane to methyl chloride forwarding the reaction is a oxidation the so lastly what is happening is that going a the hydrolysis or oxidation hydrolysis of a hydrolysis of chloral so that the trichloro the acetaldehyde is undergoing a break actually what is happening is you can write straight away with so one side uh, the h one side oh you can and say this is formic acid is formed this is a chloroform is formed but this reaction of hydrolysis is in presence of the base so therefore the acid formed uh, again you have to show with this base and forms into a salt instead of that you can take as well the base can be taken and shown that the h is adjusted here so that uh, chcl3 is formed uh, and this side one carbon becomes into a salt of the calcium that is formic acid take the calcium calcium formate is formed. 
formed. If you want to balance it, uh, you take 2 and the 2 formic acids gone with the calcium, 2 chloroforms uh, are formed. So, this is a reaction wherein what happened? The chloroforms, one of this piece will become into the chloroform. One of the pieces eh, will become into chloroform. The other piece is becoming into an acid treating with the base. Therefore, calcium formate will be the byproduct. So, this is the our main compound. The chloroform preparation is overall reaction is ethanol plus bleaching powder plus water. On a slight warming, you will get this reaction. But it can be shown in the four different stages. First stage is hydrolysis of the bleaching powder. Bleaching powder is undergoing hydrolysis to give the a base and a halogen. A base and a halogen. As I said, uh, the halogen has an option to take bromine or the iodine. The base have a potassium hydroxide or the sodium hydroxide. So, this options once again I will give here. So, what option you can have for the base? Base can be calcium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide or NaOH. Sometimes the whole thing may be written as minus. In the equation, if a chloroform that is if the ethyl alcohol is treated with water and the halogen, halogens can be either chlorine or bromine or iodine. Any one of the halogen can be given. Sometimes even uh, the base halogen together can be mixed. For example, if you chlorine and sodium hydroxide, what happens? Uh, NaCl and NaOCl is formed. NaOCl is formed. Therefore, the reaction can be asked uh, by taking OCl minus. If a ethyl alcohol is treated with OCl minus, what happens? You can't get OCL minus as such in the um, lab. Eh? So, OCL minus whenever it is there, it will be in combination with NaCl. It uh, totally the understanding is chlorine and NaOH. Therefore, you have to write the same reaction with the chlorine and sodium hydroxide ethanol. What happens means uh, the same reaction. The whole thing again comes to the same. So, this is the what actually the preparation of the chloroform and we have certain issues here. Unfortunately, the chloroform is just like water and it has no solid nature when compared with the the brome form chbr3 and uh, chi3 when colorless colorless and it is liquid brome form is liquid iodoform is a yellow color and it is solid Whenever you have a color, when the reaction is taking place, the color will give an idea whether the reaction is taking place or whether the reaction is complete or not. So, therefore, in the bromoform and iodoform reactions, you can see the progress of the reaction by getting this colors. Similarly, whenever solid is there, we have one more advantage. Whenever solid is there, you can filter the solid and collect and weigh. The weight can be taken. Weight divided by molecular weight, you will get the moles. So, many moles of iodoform is formed means uh, how many moles of ethanol is taken. For each ethanol, one iodoform is formed. So, how many moles of ethanol or how many grams of ethanol is taken also uh, stoichiometrically or uh, you can have a quantitative analysis the color using quantitative analysis and the solid phase is used for the quantitative analysis. So, therefore, these are the two common points also related to the, the chloroform. Now, let us uh, <coughs> use this reaction. Will the only the ethanol will give this chloroform? No, it is not the it is the compound uh, as we have seen oxidized compound is acetaldehyde. So, if somebody gives acetaldehyde, can you prepare the chloroform? Is in fact, it is much more easy. You need not to oxidize. Ready-made oxidized compound is there. Therefore, you can easily prepare. Similarly, if somebody gives a trichloroacetaldehyde, can you prepare the chloroform? It is much more easy because one more step halogenation also he has done and giving to you. Therefore, trihaloacetaldehyde also can be used. So, finally, all these three compounds can be used for the preparation of the chloroform. In addition to that, it is not the only the ethyl alcohol, but all the alcohols which has got this structure common structure CH3, CH, OH. What is this structure? This can be a hydrogen, this can be an alkyl, 
दिस कैन बी एरोमेटिक ग्रुप ऑल्सो इट कैन बी हाइड्रोजन मीन्स इट इज इथाइल अल्कोहल इफ अल्काइल मीन्स इट इज टू प्रोफेनॉल टू ब्यूटेनॉल टू पेंटेनॉल टू हेक्सनॉल सी दैट हाइड्रॉक्सी शुड बी ऑन द सेकेंड सो देर फॉर ऑल टू हाइड्रॉक्सी अल्कोहल्स आर गोइंग टू गि एक्सेप्ट द इथाइल इथाइल अल्कोहल फ्रॉम द राइट साइड इट इज so if i have a one hydroxy that gives a haloform test all this uh, chloroform bromide form test together is called haloform test if a bromine you are preparing you can say bromoform test or iodoform test iodine when you are preparing iodoform test commonly known as haloform test so somebody can ask which of the following compounds will give the haloform test means check for this two hydroxy as well as it should be two degree so why 2 degree means first of all this alcohol should oxidize that is the h and the oh should go and you should get a carbonyl compound should be formed why should we need a carbonyl compound because only carbonyl compounds can show this hyper conjugation in the subsequent step the hydrogen will be get removed and halogen substituted with halogens then you cut and you will Next step is trihalo a carbonyl compound. This trihalo compound is actually resulting as a CH CL3. Therefore, where from this chloroform you are getting from the ethanol this CH3 only. From the two propanol this CH3 only. Like that, whatever the compound you take, that methyl group happens to become into a, a trihalo and then subsequently resulting as a chloroform. Therefore, the compound can be any long it can be but on the second carbon oh should be there so that uh, the h h will be go out methyl this methyl will become a trihalo and then subsequently becomes into the chloro so therefore all the hydroxy compound which have two hydroxy second carbon two degree two degree means a uh, carbon containing two alkyl groups is two degree exception is ethyl alcohol ethyl alcohol as well as a uh, one degree alcohol and one hydroxy therefore all the similarly which type of carbonyl compounds you can use a stalled head you can use uh, all the carbonyl compounds which have got ch3 c double bond wo attached with the hydrogen alkyl and the aromatic any aromatic group you can take this ch3 happens to become a trihalo carbonyl compound followed by the chloroform is prepared therefore chloroform you can use so we have a huge number of which of the following compound is going to give the chloroform or bromoform or iodoform in the case of iodoform i said it is a yellow crystalline derivative so therefore which of the following gives a yellow precipitate means iodoform reaction it is with iodine and this however okay so this is all about the preparation of the chloroform now let, let us go to the properties of uh, this chloroform first let us take the a few reactions one is a halogenation chloroform can be uh, further halogenated with the chlorine and the uv light so that ccl4 is formed it can be reduction can be reduced with a tin and hcl you will get a, a dichloro monochloro and so on finally what you will get is a, a reduced methane will be formed a mixture will come up slowly if enough time you give and totally it will be reduced it can be hydrolyzed it can be hydrolysis the hydrolysis also several times asked in the uh, mcet examinations what is this hydrolysis concept means if any compound we have seen ethyl chloride aqueous koh or oh minus the oh minus replace it is a nucleophilic substitution reaction therefore you will get a oh okay this is not chloroform however i am giving a general point a halo alkane on aqueous sodium hydroxide and boiling oh replaces a nucleophilic substitution similar the case if the two halogens are side by side what answer will come you will get a glycol will be formed concept and if the two halogens are on the same carbon one one is bisphenol and this is geminol geminol type of dihalide will give a two oh s on the same carbon when two oh s are there in a carbon common only it is eliminated as a water and then what you will get is subsequently an aldehyde or a ketone is formed depending upon the positions if it is one one you will get 
acetaldehyde. If similar the way, if the three halogens are there, what happens? That is the question now. If three halogens are there, subsequently apply the concept, uh, you will get three OHs, right? Three OHs already, one H is there, so therefore let us write. And three OHs eliminate water, what comes is HCO, OH, this is nothing but the formic acid. But when I potassium hydroxide and boil this one, the potassium hydroxide react with this one, subsequently its salt is formed, HCOO minus a K plus potassium formate will be the answer, potassium formate. Several times the question is asked when chloroform is hydrolyzed with the KOH and boiled that is hydrolysis reaction, first of all three halogens will become three OHs, nucleophilic substitution. More eliminate water, 3 cannot be eliminated out of 2 the OH is removed, so COOH remains that is nothing but the acid, it is a salt of the potassium formate will be the answer. This is the one point however you can apply in the carbonyl compounds preparation, glycols preparation, alcohols preparation and so on. Now the let us go to the next uh, properties, chloroform is a commercially it is hospitals for the, the anesthetic uh, as an anesthetic agent. So, therefore, it will be before giving to the whether it is pure or not. Why they are going to check means uh, chloroform on long standing not quickly however, it is catalyzed by the UV light half filled bottle if you keep it aside slowly the light uh, catalyzes and the uh, oxygen which is there in will slowly react, it is not a fast reaction however, after 3-4 days it slowly reacts and becomes into a chlorine with C double bond OCl and HCl is formed. This is called a dichlorocarbonyl compound commonly known as phosgene, it is a gaseous compound in fact, however, it is soluble in the chloroform therefore, in the form of solution it will be there. Okay? it is dissolved in the chloroform, it is a covalent compound, it is not ionic covalent compound. So, therefore, it is soluble in the chloroform, if you get a solution in which uh, this phosgene gas will be there. The alone if you take it is a gaseous compound, but it is soluble in the chloroform. This is however, it is acting as a poisonous compound, it is a, a phosgene is a poisonous compound. Therefore, before giving the chloroform to the patient, uh, it will be checked whether the phosgene is there or not. Have you check means uh, this is not going to react with the silver nitrate. If you add aqueous silver nitrate or alcoholic silver nitrate, there is no reaction. But uh, however, it is a byproduct uh, when phosgene is there, HCl will be there. So, this same uh, silver nitrate uh, will react with this HCl forms a white color precipitate silver chloride. When silver chloride is formed, uh, there is a HCl. When HCl is there, phosgene is there indirectly, the white precipitate confirms the presence of the phosgene. So, when phosgene is there, such a chloroform should not be given to the patients. In anticipation, what they do is, they add some ethyl alcohol, ethanol can be added. Ethanol has got a antioxidizing property, antioxidizing property. So, it stops the oxidation for some extent. It has another use also, this the CCL that is the COCl2 reacts with the two moles of ethanol and forms into a, a carbonate is formed, diethyl carbonate is formed, which is a all most of the carbonates are baking soda, washing soda, these are all uh, not harmful. So, therefore, diethyl carbonate is a non poisonous material. So, therefore, a small quantity of ethanol will ensure you in two ways. One is the it stops the the oxidation of uh, the chloroform, it also stops this uh, the poisonous compound if at all formed uh, will convert into diethyl carbonate which is a, a non poisonous substance. Therefore, a small quantity of ethanol will be added to the chloroform. So, the chloroform slowly the oxidizes and gives what? Phosgene is a poisonous gas, but the gas will not come out, it is soluble in the organic compound chloroform. Therefore, in the solution form, it will be there. If it is given to the patient, it will be very harmful. So, therefore, it will be checked with silver nitrate, a white precipitate is formed that confirms the presence of HCl actually, but when HCl is formed, this is also formed indirectly, we are checking that. So, therefore, a small quantity of ethyl alcohol in addition, when added to the chloroform, it stops of the oxidation and also converts the, the oxidized product into this one. And another property is a 
chloroform the three the chlorines because of the three chlorines present eh, the hydrogen is very much reactive now previously if all our hydrogens are there in a methane the hydrogens are very very stable and not reactive at all but whereas in the chloroform because of the three chlorines the hydrogen has become very reactive it has become very easy to nitrate when you add nitric acid NO2 group enters here you will get a nitro chloroform this is nothing but the nitro chloroform plus water is formed this trichloro the nitromethane is known as chloropicrin chloropicrin it is commercially used in the tear gas so once a question is asked what is the major component in the tear gas tear gas is nothing but the the tri nit trichloro nitromethane it is a that is a <coughs> The, it acts on the uh, eye and a uh, lot of tears will be produced and a burning sensation will be there. So, therefore, it is used in the tear gas. The chloroform adds to acetone, adds to acetone. Acetone is a very a common compound which has got a CO and the CH3 and CH3. When you add chloroform, so the CH and the CCl3, this trichloromethyl group is added to the carbon and the H is added to the O. So, an addition reaction taking place with reference to the carbonyl compound it is a nucleophilic addition. With reference to this one it is splitting and into A B and then adding. So, therefore, with reference to chloroform it is not addition. With reference to the carbonyl compound it is a nucleophilic addition a minus party adds first uh, and then the H plus adds on the O. So, therefore, what comes is O will become OH uh, here a CCl3 and CH3 this is acetone will become into a chloritone it has got a, a common name chloritone you can name it according to the IUPAC you can name it a 111 trichloro 2 hydroxy that is 2 propanol and 2 methyl 2 propanol you can name it but it has a common name called chloritone isn't it um, chloroform already we have seen it is a an aesthetic agent an aesthetic substance when this anesthetic substance is added to a common compound the product developed uh, has a slightly less uh, property containing compound is called hypnotic uh, agent hypnotic means uh, it produces lot of sleeping and the patient will get a, a relaxation so without uh, the harming the person the sending into the sleep that means giving a, a relaxation through the sleep a people is relaxed that type of the drugs are known as hypnotic drugs so the chloritone is a hypnotic agent chloroform when treated with the silver metal or any halogens also if six silver atoms are there another chloroform is written like this six silvers and six chlorines will go out and the two CHS are binded with the triple bond and the so called compound is known as what eh? six silver chlorides eh? this is nothing but the, the acetylene. So, for the acetylene you can use this one, but however commercially it is not a feasible one because the costlier affair the, the chloroform and the silver both are costly what you are preparing in acetylene. We have another methods for the preparation of this acetylene instead of this particular method we have other commercial methods for the preparation of acetylene like uh, from calcium um, car the carbide and hydrolysis will get a, a, at a cheaper rate acetylene. So, this is a costlier affair, but the method can be extended for the in the higher chemistry if a compound has a, a chain at the end we have it three halogens you can use chloroform that end can be converted into the the a triple bonded compound acetyl the chloroform has two more popular reactions known as reamer timon reaction reamer timon reaction however this reaction we are going to get the in the phenols uh, chapter phenol is undergoing reaction with the chloroform when chloroform and the KOH is added, the chloroform generates a CCL2 dichlorocarbon. This will attack at ortho and para and ortho positions. Uh, the phenol so happens it is a plus M group. Therefore, the CCL2 attacks at ortho position followed by you need a hydrolysis actually. H3O plus should be there. Otherwise, a salt will be there. So, a phenol with the aldehyde group is formed plus another molecule also a CHO at the para position also for. 
first compound has a common name called salicyl aldehyde salicyl aldehyde otherwise you can call it as a ortho hydroxy benzaldehyde para hydroxy benzaldehyde a mixture is formed the mixture has one point to understand here the mixture with a steam steam distillation when you do because of the intermolecular hydrogen bonding it has a slight lower piling point which is closer to the steam boiling water boiling point therefore this will come out whereas para will be there in the mixture so therefore salicyl aldehyde is a steam volatile or steam distilled one similar the case we have one more reaction <coughs> carbyl amine reaction carbyl amine reaction this reaction is taken with aniline a pH NH2 when you treat it with the chloroform CHCl3 in presence of the KOH condition is same chloroform KOH heating chloroform KOH heating both are name reactions one is with phenol the other one is with the aniline phenol gives a rheumatoid reaction gives salicyl aldehyde aniline with the chloroform KOH and heating you will get a phenyl NC C N is cyanide, N C is isocyanide, phenyl isocyanide, these are also called carbyl amines, commonly known as carbyl amines. The carbyl amines will have a very foul, that is bad smell. Due to the smell, one can easily identify whether the given one is a aromatic primary amine or not. So, this will take up in the nitrogen compounds, this will take up in the phenols once again. However, let us see what type of questions are asked in the chloroform. If one or two is there, we will cover in the, the discussion part. <coughs> Next, <coughs> first question. So, the first gene is formed uh, on uh, um, exposing the following to air and sunlight. See, sunlight is catalyzing, air is actually oxygen containing, air is reacting with the, the chloroform and it is a slow reaction. When it is kept for the 2, 3 days, it becomes into the first gene that is from the chloroform answer 2 is the right answer. Next. Chloroform reacts with nitric acid and gives, as I said chloroform hydrogen is very reactive, nitration has become very facile in this case. So, nitrochloroform comes uh, that is also called chloropicrin commonly, both 1 and 2 is the right answer, answer is 3 therefore. Next, phosphogen is formed slowly from which one of the following on exposure to air and sunlight, it is almost a repetitive question. The, in the next year subsequent year we found the chloroform is the one which gives the first gene next in which of the following reactions chlorine acts an oxidizing agent in the first case uh, the ethanol uh, is uh, oxidized a uh, small mistake in the formula the uh, ethanol is oxidized in oxidation acetaldehyde chlorination is also oxidation methane gives chlorine methyl chloride it is also in oxidation all the four are correct uh, therefore 1 2 3 4 fourth answer is the right question right answer next cl2 this is known as calcium oxychloride or bleaching powder when treated with water gives calcium hydroxide and chlorine it is the x is given we are going to identify what is this x probably may be x is chlorine chlorine treated with acetaldehyde gives what uh, trichloroacetaldehyde y is trichlorous trichloroacetaldehyde with the base uh, chloroform and calcium the formate is formed what is y means y is a trichloroacetaldehyde that is chloral the answer 3 is the right answer next which of which one which of the following is added to chloroform to slow down its a uh, aerial oxidation in presence of light as i said ethyl alcohol has this property called antioxidizing property therefore ethyl alcohol is added however it has another application when the formed if by poisonous gas is there at all it also reacts with ethyl alcohol becomes into diethyl carbonate which is a non poisonous substance therefore ethyl alcohol is the answer next the chemical formula of tear gas the tear gas as i said trichloro methane trichloromethane uh, trichloromethane uh, with containing a nitro group nitro trichloromethane is the one which is a also called as a chloropicrin and it is used in the tear gas preparation next which of the following reacts with ethanol to form chloroform which of the following reacts with ethanol to form chloroform ethyl alcohol eh, 
first uh, it should uh, react if a piece thionyl chloride or PCl5 it is added it becomes into just ethyl chloride the whole uh, exercise is gone the third reagent HCl actually only HCl will not react HCl and the, the zinc chloride if it is added ethanol may undergo halogenation but the last one you see calcium oxychloride and water this is one which generates first uh, the chlorine that chlorine oxidizes the ethanol into ethanol subsequently trichloro uh, ethanol and then it is oxy hydrolyze it to give the chloroform. So, therefore, last answer is the right answer. Next. Hydrolysis of chloroform with aqueous KOH gives finally. So, he is also asking see the finally means uh, actually the chloroform has a uh, 3 chlorines. If only 1 chlorine is there you will get OH that is hydroxy compound. If 2 uh, Cl's and the same OHs, but two OHs and the same carbon eliminates water. So, therefore, you will get a carbonyl compound, but a chloroform has three OHs. So, therefore, consequently, you will get a trihydroxy compound and the same carbon three OHs becomes unstable. Uh, two OHs will be eliminated as a water and it will become an acid because the base is also available KOH acid reacts with base and uh, forms into a, a salt of the formic acid that is potassium formate will be the right answer. Next. Hydrolysis of trichloromethane with aqueous KOH. Once again, the same question it is the potassium formate is the right answer. Different years the question is uh, coming frequently. Next, action of zinc dust on tri and tetrabromoethane. Tetrabromoethane. If 4 bromines are there, zinc eliminates and gives uh, the acetylene compound zinc eliminates and you will get a acetylene compound. This is not closer to the topic, however, it has entered into this topic. Next, following compounds uh, does not give a positive iodoform test, positive iodoform test. As I said, uh, all the alcohols uh, which are going to give this uh, positive iodoform test. What is this iodoform test? Uh, when iodine and base is added, all the compounds which have 2 hydro and 2 degree alcohols and also similarly 2 compounds. So, that means a, a carbonyl group one side methyl group is there such compounds are called 2 methyl or methyl keto compounds are going to give positive iodoform. What is this positive iodoform? Iodoform is a yellow color crystalline compound therefore, in the following compounds if you add a iodine and base one of the compound is going to become the this one. If the question is a negative question which of the following is not giving? Ethanol gives acetone gives acetaldehyde gives except methanol the all the compounds are giving and this we will have a let us have a small exercise here. So, that uh, you can be acquainted with a uh, which type gives this a uh, positive the iodoform test. What is iodoform test? Uh, all the compounds which are containing a uh, group with a uh, compounds are added iodine and KOH or sodium hydroxide. Okay? The iodine first used for the oxidation. So, you will get a, a 2 hydroxy okay, 2 hydroxy compound and it is a 2 degree 2 hydroxy compound has become into a 2 carbonyl compounds. 2 carbonyl compound it is called 2 keto compound or methyl keto compound methyl ketones all ketones ok. Um, so, here the group can be hydrogen as a any alkyl group or any aromatic group alkyl can be a methyl, ethyl and so on long chain can be there I do not mind. You can have a benzene, you can have a naphthalene and big big groups including the hydrogen also you can have. So, now this compound what happens uh, iodine is further reacting and you will get a tri iodo to methyl compound tri iodo to methyl compound. This is added it becomes into a CHI 3 which is a, a yellow color yellow color as well as a it is a solid therefore precipitate crystalline. 
product. Therefore, the iodoform formation reaction is known as iodoform reaction. Which compounds are giving means all these uh, alcohols containing this particular formula CH3CHOH with something. It can be described as two hydro all two methyl or two keto type of carbonyl compounds are going to give. I will give a, a list of the alcohols. Uh, I will write possible all alcohols. Uh, one we have to identify which alcohol will give. For example, methyl alcohol is there. Okay, ethyl alcohol, propyl alcohol. In the propyl alcohol, two varieties: one propanol, and the two propanol. In the butanols, uh, four types of butanols are there: one butanol, two butanol, and the isobutanol, and the tertiary butyl alcohol. Alcohols are there here and we have some more varieties like uh, a 5 carbon compound if you take 1 pentanol, 2 pentanol, 3 pentanol and so on a big list of the given and identify which gives the hydroform test. Similarly, so many a ring type of compounds like hexanol, okay, right, phenol and a aromatic group having a C H aromatic group containing a CHOH with a, a methyl and so on. So, a given option can be like this, like this, like this, like this. Question 1, this 4 alcohols I will give, which of the following will give means uh, you verify that 1 carbon OH uh, will not oxidize to give this type of 2 degree 2 keto. So, therefore, this is not going to give. Ethanol is an exception. It is 1 hydroxy 1 degree but gives. So, it is a 1 alcohol no. It is a 2 alcohol from this side it is 2 hydroxy or even this side also it is giving. Okay, Right, right mark shows giving. So, this will not give. 1 butanol will not give. 2 butanol will give. It is butanol no. <coughs> 1 butanol will not give. It is a 2 hydroxy but why it is not giving a 3 degree 1. 3 degree alcohols cannot be oxidized to carbonyl. So, therefore, though it is from this side it is 2 hydroxy, it will not give the reaction. Well, it is a 2 hydroxy, but it is a 3 degree one. We need a 2 degree, 2 degree is oxidized to carbonyl. Why you need carbonyl means hyperconjugable hydrogens only halogenated, then by for that is cut. Iodoform. Therefore, we need a, a 2 hydroxy meticulously. Exception is only ethyl alcohol. And uh, no. 2 pentanol once again gives. 3 pentanol no. Maybe compound may be very long, but the OH should be on the second carbon, either from the left or from the right. 2 second carbon, 2 degree also. Placement is second carbon, if the degree is 2 degree. 2 degree, 2 hydroxy, if you find that compounds are going to give this halophorb reaction. So, similarly here, it is a 2 degree, no, it is a aromatic, no, it is an aliphatic, however, it is 1 degree, therefore, no, but it is here, you see from here, it is 2 carbon, second carbon having a 2 degree and it is a 2 hydroxy, therefore, once again, this compound is going to give. Where from you get the iodoform means this part uh, is going to become into the iodoform. Similar the case, uh, we have a list of carbonyl compounds, uh, which carbonyl compounds are going to give the haloform reaction. Okay? This we are going to repeat in the carbonyl compounds. However, here also you can have an exercise. A carbonyl compound containing a 1 carbon that is a formaldehyde, 2 carbon aldehyde that is an acetaldehyde, 3 carbon aldehyde this is a propanaldehyde, 3 carbon ketone this is a now the 4 carbon 1, 4 carbon aldehyde and 4 carbon ketone, it can be 2 pentanone, 2 betanone, it can be isobutyraldehyde. Okay? Uh, so, 3 types of bitteraldehydes are there aldehyde, ketone, and aldehyde. You can have a 5 carbon series uh, with a 1 pentanaldehyde, ketone, it can be a 3 pentanone. Now, out of these three, only this is eligible because it is two methyl. A methyl attached to carbonyl group is going to. There is no methyl attached to carbonyl. No, aldehyde. All aldehydes will not give except acetaldehyde. You can make a statement. In the alcohols, say no one degree alcohol will give except ethyl alcohol. Here also, 
no aldehyde will give a haloform test except acetaldehyde acetaldehyde will give the reaction formaldehyde no propanaldehyde no all aldehydes will ketones again this group is there ch3co therefore acetone will give either side it has a methyl group no brutanaldehyde no again it is a ch3co is there yes so this is again aldehyde no so here we have this c function this particular function wherever you are finding uh, CH3CO the compounds are resulting this particular reaction known as what uh, the halophar reaction and in this reaction what you are getting that methyl hydroxy group first oxidized to methyl keto then iodinated and then it will become a CH3 CHI3 iodone iodoform that is a yellow crystalline compound is formed so therefore if you learn the concept if you learn the concept don't try to buy hard that out of the 16 compounds i buy hard this five compounds will not give means uh, the, the examiner will not have only 16 you can add some more compounds so therefore you cannot answer so therefore the try to the buy that is the, try to understand the concept which type of carbonyl compounds all carbonyl compounds having a co attached with ch3 let it can be an aldehyde because in the even this aldehyde CH3COH is there. That is what I commonized here a CH3CO containing hydrogen or alkyl or aromatic sink. But this side a CH3 should be there. Similarly, all alcohols containing a CHOH it should be 2 degree, 2 alkyls are 2 degree. So, except uh, the ethyl alcohol all 2 degree 2 hydroxy compounds are going to give this reaction. So, therefore, it is very interesting uh, to note that uh, it is not the ethyl alcohol however we are confirmed to learn the ethyl alcohol but see this how, how the what type of questions are containing acetone and acetaldehyde ethyl alcohol methanol all other compounds are also coming into this picture so we should be very careful next on heating with bleaching powder ethyl alcohol is converted to first actually ethyl alcohol is converted to ethanol acetaldehyde then it is converted to trihalo the acetaldehyde then it is converted into the <coughs> chloroform so here one of the following is right means actually ethyl alcohol giving acetaldehyde second answer is also right actually but second answer will convert into the trihalo the acetaldehyde that is called chloral that will hydrolyze into the, the chloroform so therefore final answer will be the the last one which of the following poisonous gases is formed when chloroform is exposed to light and moist air so this is a again a oxidation of the chloroform the chloroform slowly undergoes oxidation to give the the COCl2 that is a dichloro the carbonyl compound are uh, called phosgene. Mustard gas uh, is used in the world war actually mustard gas is prepared uh, by adding the acetylene uh, to the, the dichloro uh, S2 ok. This when it is added to acetylene what happens uh, the Cl is added eth ethylene is taken is added to here and you will get a one chlorine is added here when sulfur comes here plus one sulfur will be outgoing. So, this is called mustard gas a sulfur containing ok. So, that is 2 chloro 2 dash chloro diethyl thioether it is actually it is a ether but sulfur containing compound is called mustard gas you know chlorine very well phosgene is the real answer carbon monoxide is also happens to be a poisonous gas. So, all these four are actually poisonous gases among this answer is the phosgene is the, the real answer. Next, when ethyl alcohol reacts with bromine in presence of alkali once again you see the alkali he did not mention here sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, calcium hydroxide also can be taken, but the re reagent is also not chlorine is confirmed to the not the chlorine is not it bromine also. So, what comes here a brominated uh, form of the chloroform is nothing but the bromoform is the right answer ok. Bromoform will have a light brown color, but it is a liquid therefore, only color you can identify, but not the solid uh, that is solidification you can find you cannot find in the reaction next. Chloroform slowly reacts with the oxygen of the air 
in the presence of light to do. I think this is the fourth time or the fifth time when chloroform oxidizes what you will get is COCl2 once the name is given once the formula is given but ultimately the chloroform has got a, a set number of questions which are going to be repeated severally which is going to be repeated a, a definite question one comes from the chloroform several times you have seen that the question must be a, a related to this chloroform that is haloform reaction bromo form iodoform oxidation of the chloroform is the major area of this asking the question chloroform slowly reacts with oxygen of the air in the presence of light light is catalyzing the reaction that's why the chloroform will be taken in a brown colored bottle so that the light entering will be less brown color even silver nitrate we take in a brown color bottle and the brown sheet is wrapped so that the light entrance will be the stopped so that uh, the oxidation will be filled the another care is there uh, if a half liter is there you take half liter bottle and fill it okay instead of uh, taking half liter chloroform in the one liter bottle and to store it uh, naturally after three four days the air present in that small quantity of air in the light will be there and it catalyzes slowly the chloroform converts into the phosgene which is a uh, dangerous to the patient especially when it is used as a anesthetic agent so therefore the chloroform the oxidation can be stopped uh, different uh, stages by taking the brown color bottle and uh, wrapping and uh, putting the bottle in a dark uh, the rack uh, where there is no light uh, all this will prevent this uh. so in addition to that we have seen uh, the ethyl alcohol has one effect uh, it has the anti oxidizing agent uh, and even small quantity of chloroform is oxidized already into phosgene which converts into the the um, diethyl carbonate which is a, a non poisonous uh, substance so therefore chloroform oxidation can be in a different levels can be stopped uh, so that uh, you can have a, a pure uh, uh, the reagent i think this uh, confirms the the chloroform topic we have taken uh, the extensively especially the preparation of chloroform and the properties of the chloroform uh, it's a small topic but still the questions are huge number of questions are coming almost every uh, year or every alternate year a question on the preparation or property we are going to get so this uh, covers the chloroform topic uh, 